here it is, the new boat. That name Pandora's box is going. <laughs> um, yeah, didn't get a walk around video of the boat due to time. I wanted to just get on with it, get it done. So I've got some time lapse basically, a few little cutscenes of where I've talked about problems with the boat. Uh, basically you can see here, this is how I brought the boat. It, it had a bit of a mess, mess inside it. I want to get rid of all of it. I, don't, I want as much deck space as possible. As you can see, engine's a bit damaged there on the cowling. 580 quid for a new one. It's mental. Engine's pretty clean. Wasn't jetting water. I've sorted that. New impeller kit. Job done. Well, let's get into it. You'll get a time lapse now, basically, and a bit of crazy music. My type of music. I wouldn't normally put it on a video. Neither would it. Well, as you can see, yeah, I'm cutting the deck out now. I've cut all the way along that edge so far. I need to go around the back, up this side. What I wanted to show you here, before I went any further, you can see there's a little bit of water sitting under there, that's fine. But this deck has not been fiberglass properly. I'm gonna show you why now. As you can see, that's wood. This fiberglass has not actually taken to the wood. It's not been done properly. <coughs> this may just pull off in a big strip. Yeah, it is, look. So as, you can see, so as you can see, if you don't fiberglass a deck properly, this is soaked, absolutely drenched. So that will rot in no time at all. It's all rotten, to be honest. The whole floor is totally rotten. The skin underneath is solid, which is brilliant news, but yeah, get the rest of this cut out now. So that's what happens when it's not fiberglass properly. Well, I thought I'd show you how far I've got with it so far. I've got a little bit more to do, but I'd say it's 95% complete. The deck's all out. I've cut out the back bit here, where we had the seats and the live bait tank, and also the bulkhead's gone. Um, I need to take the canopy off up there, these rails off, a few rails on the roof, and that's it, it's stripped. Then it's down to just sanding it all, getting it all ready to be rebuilt and repainted. So I'm gonna get on with it now, try and get this canopy off. Bit awkward on my own, but do the best I can. And I got a little bit more deck to remove underneath the back end down here. It's a bit awkward to get to, but that's next. So that's it. I put a, put a bit of a time lapse on and carry on with it. Well, as you can see, everything is stripped bare now. I'm actually sitting in the cuddy to keep out the wind because of the wind noise on the camera. Yeah, all the floors up. These stringers are actually super solid, if you look. So, these stringers will be staying in the boat. I was going to remove all of them and do a new layout over all of it. But what I've decided to do, down that line there, maybe you can see that line, right down there, and there's one there as well. I'm going to add a stringer all the way down, front to back, on both sides. The back end, I'll go close to me and show you. We've got a beam running across at the back at the transom, that's coming out. As you can see, we've got a centerpiece down here. Right at the back, half of that is blocking the bung. Obviously, it's a bad, bad idea and a bad design. Don't know why it's been done like that, I have no idea. 
but they've obviously put that in the centre and couldn't really fit the bung properly. So the, the back piece, which is that going that way, is going to actually be cut out completely. And I'm going to basically add a new sit, like string and lay out there, so I can fit a build sump below where that splash well dips down. Hopefully you can see it from here. I'll go up there now and show you what I mean closer up, and I'll give you a little walk around of the boat as it's completely bare, minus the engine and the spare engine plate. Everything else has come off, so it's ready now to be paint stripped everywhere on the inside and the outside, sand it down, get it all ready for a repaint and a brand new floor. So I want to try and move quite quick on this project. I don't be messing about with it. I want to try and do it when the weather's still quite warm because give it another month and a half and we're going to start getting colder weather. So this needs to be fiberglassed and well, the fiberglassing needs to be finished ASAP and before the weather turns, I need dry, warm days like we have at the moment. Anyway, I'll get in the back, show you the back end, give you a quick walk around of the boat. Then I'm going to get on with cutting those stringers out and the other parts and getting ready to put in the new stringers when we get a decent day's weather. The angle of the camera at the back of the boat now may be a bit awkward. As you can see, we've got a stringer running across the transom there. In places, it's a little bit soft, so we're getting rid of that. The rest of these are absolutely solid. They're not rotten. They just look a bit stained and stuff. Obviously, water in there over the time. Um, the back there, you can see we've got the bung hole. Only, I'd say, three quarters of it is showing. The other quarter is partly covered by this piece of wood. I want to fit a sump in here, a decent sized sump. Um, I don't know if you've heard of Gary Bull or Gary Wilson Flyer, I think they call him. Um, basically, the stringer design I'm going to do in this is similar to what he does. The sump is going to be the same as what he also does. Basically, the sump will have three sides. It'll go up there, across here, and down there. The back of the transom will be the back end of the sump. You'll be able to see that bung in the sump, basically. There'll be another bung back here on this vertical piece down here. So the deck's sealed, and that's all open, and you can see the bung to the back of the boat. That's the way I'm going to be doing it. Next is cut out the stringer across the transom and cut out this piece and get ready for the new layout. There may be a little bit of wind noise. Basically, I'll give you a quick walk around of the boat. Obviously, the engine, got some ladders on there still, and then the transom bracket the other side. The boat is totally stripped now, as you can see. Have a quick walk. Completely stripped. I've even took all the canopy off the top. As far as I know, the canopy, I'm going to put it back on. Um, I've got a bit of an issue because it's too low. The canopy's right there. I need to either adjust the canopy to raise it. I think it's called a um, flying bridge. We need to raise it. Another idea that someone gave me, which I think is a decent idea, is raise the cuddy. I've only got to raise it around eight inches. So basically try and raise it and make it look factory. So then I don't need to alter the flybridge, bridge. And I've got more headroom in the cuddy. Because at the minute, if you sit up straight, your head's on the roof in there. So I did give it a quick pressure wash, as you can see. Quite a bit of this paint's come off, and I've got down to another coat of paint here. Looking at it here, that's the original gel coat, right there. So, there's not many layers, but what I've done, rather than sanding it and damaging the surface of the boat, I've, I'm buying a um, Hempel paint stripper. I'm going to give that a go. Hopefully, it takes off the layers of paint, so it avoids sanding it too much. But as you can see, fully stripped, and it's ready to be rebuilt. So there we go. I'm going to get back on with it. This video probably wasn't too long. The strip down. I didn't video a lot of it because I was in a bit of a rush. But yeah, that's the new boat. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you want to see more of it, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.